outgun someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, Hulk. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah, means an egg, Hulk. All of life is means an egg. Ah. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! No more shoot! No more rhino! Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Scott. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. Again, Gargan. Keep talking to me. I'll take care of you after I finish the fight. The more I like you, come here and I'll fix that. So you guys in Octavius, huh? You have a name yet? The Scary Six? The Dirty Half Dozen? How about? The we murdered Spider-Man in the court for a fight. Gargan, please, you embarrass yourself. Ha! <laughs>
But you do know it's gonna be cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to keep up? Yes, God. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two! Finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me, or my best people is on it. databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. 
It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. They said it's boring. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Units with riot gear needed to respond to a violent disturbance. Available officers, move on Yorkville. That's smart. Just go right back to what got you tossed in jail. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me, the lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Residents have been asked to uh, temporarily vacate their units while Sable International performs a security sweep. I don't understand why we have to clear the entire... It's because... Yeah, that elevator goes... There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. We risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. important as Osborne. This isn't fair. Let us back upstairs. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Jerry, get out of here. We got a situation. Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished limits, their sweep. Need to go around. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. More like Osborne's safety. Please, everyone, please. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Swear Patrol. 
multi-million dollar building. <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Hmm. Better check it out. Might have something, Control. Stand by. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. Might have something, Control. Stand by. Elevator controls in the security room, next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Find the alarm technician. Fire him. Stupid useless button. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. The Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment?
work order for key padlock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Self-diagnostic complete. No faults found. Fire doors disengaged. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms, and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him have Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Can't be for Harry, can it? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I'm saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location.
Standby control. I heard something. Sweep complete. Sector clear. Huh? Who's there? Who's there? Control! We need a medic! Wait! July 18. Sue, gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman Osborne, GR27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movement. Huh. This shows all Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michael's. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Got a real mad scientist thing going on. Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. Dr. Strom. No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Oscorp's going all... No. Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti serum in a shopping center. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. Good ol' Alpha Team. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. 
Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable. Nope, that's just a sable patrol. None of these patrols cross Dr. Ma nope, that's just a sable patrol. Should check the patrol routes against Oz. No, Dr. Michaels was near a lot of sable forces, but it's not. No, I need to track Michaels. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Good ol' Alpha Team. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Ben Adder is a dead end. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Where do these three categories overlap? That must be the lab's location. No. A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's- Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it! Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that- I knew it! Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location and a lot more. How far away are you? Two hours. 
say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Watch your sixes, men. Continuing sweep. Need to clear that balcony. You're amazing. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. to get that anti-serum and start putting things right. There must be some way to reach Leonardo. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world. They can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti-serum. Better update Yuri. 
I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti-serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon, I promise. Electro trying to destroy our power grid. The Vulture raining death from above. Spider-Man egging them both on in the very heart of our city, brawling like children. Lethal children, pitching a tantrum of death and destruction. I'm often asked, why do menaces like this end up with awesome powers? Why not someone like you, Jonah? <laughs> Well, I have considered trying to use advanced science to give me powers, only so I could protect you in a way, of course. But after much reflection, I've decided against it. Because power corrupts. I'm a man of the people, and I want to stay one of the hardworking, ordinary people of New York. So I'll just help via my talk show, my publishing empire and my vast personal fortune. No need to thank me. It's what a man of the people does. these demons before I can follow Lee into the lab. Time to KO those snipers.
these demons quick before Lee gets a hold of the anti serum. Shoot through Sable. Lee's on the warpath. Spider Man, leave now. My men will handle this. Sable? Lee wiped out the agent's station here. They're not handling anything. You have been warned, superhero. <laughs> Sable made good on her threat, but these guys aren't looking to team up. I'm tired of you harassing our agents, Spider-Man. This ends tonight. You guys think I took out your men? You gotta be kidding me! Get inside! <laughs> 